Weighed down by debt and maladministration, the furnaces at this once vibrant steelmaker stopped firing long ago. Now, ahead of a takeover by a Hong Kong-based investor, the government has gazetted a bill to wipe $494 million in debt off the company's books and put it onto the taxpayer's tab. For government now to assume that debt as much as it will affect the taxpayer, but the, on the broader picture, it will, it will help the economy as a whole. Because ZISCO is one of the, if you look at the, 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 the upstream and downstream benefits of, uh, of the common uh, being revived again, they are immense probably more than the, 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 the debt that the, the, the debt that we pick up as, uh, as the taxpayers. A functioning steel mill will re-employ redundant workers, create new jobs and spark activity in several industries, including the National Railways of Zimbabwe, which is also in line for a foreign recapitalization. When I visited the idol Zisco plant last year, I found the surrounding community living in abject poverty. After two previous attempts to restart the company failed, Redcliffe residents are desperate that this effort succeeds. You would assume that uh, whoever is coming in and saying, look, I want to run this thing, I'm going to put money into this. Uh, remember, it's no longer government that will be running Zisco. It will be a, 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 new, a new equity uh, holder who is going to come in and hope is that they've got enough experience to be running a steel company. A subsidiary of Chinese real estate giant R&F Property has concluded a deal to inject up to $2 billion into revamping Zisco Steel. Zimbabwe's government intends to offload dozens of non-performing state-owned enterprises, most of which are saddled with huge debts that have overshadowed their potential and detracted from their attractiveness. Now, should a case be made to take over some of their debts too, then perhaps the government may find more takers for its big sale. Farai Wakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.